I see you out there waiting in that pond, waiting for the moment I step out of these doors. I know what you're up to, Aqua. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Super Attacker here, and welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. In the last part, we went on a little adventure to rescue some Magnemites, and in this part, we are going to be continuing our adventure. Hope that you guys are excited. Let's get into it. Alright, so it looks like first thing that we want to do is check this mailbox here. Super check the mailbox. But there was no mail seeking help from the rescue team. Good morning, Super. Aren't you up early? Oh, so you checked the mailbox? So was there anything... So was there anything? Were there any rescue requests? Huh? There's nothing? Mmm, I guess that makes sense. After all, we've only just begun. Oh well, we should go to the Pokemon Square. We should check the Pelipper Post Office. I think they'll have jobs posted. Pokemon Square is over here, let's go. Alright, looks like we are going to a new area. This is the general town, Pokemon Square. There is a lot that we have to explain going into here. A lot. That is not an exaggeration. That's the Kecleon shop. You can buy and sell items there. Yeah, what's up? That's Felicity Bank. You can save your Pokemon money there. And, well, I'll sh I'm gonna go into a bit more detail with this stuff. This is the Gulpin Link Shop. Gulpin can link moves for you. Huh? What's linking? Well, if you link moves, you can use them together at the same time. Should you should just ask Gulpin for details. You don't know how they work either, do you? This is Kangaskhan Storage. If you store items here, they'll be safe. You should store important items here before you go out to a dungeon. And over there is the Makahita Dojo. Ha! Oh! At the dojo, you can learn or get training on various maneuvers used in dungeons. What do you think? The businesses here help us. Oh, and there's also the Pelipper's Post Office. That's up past here. I think we can get rescue job information there. So how about we go to the Pelipper Post Office first? I am going to say that that is actually not a good idea, Aqua. Talk to your partner. Your partner will tell you all kinds of things, but if you're not sure where to go, just ask your partner. Yeah, so I actually don't want to go to the Pelipper Post Office right away. Instead, I want to take, spend a little bit of time around here in town. So why don't we naturally go the one way that Aqua... What? Why, why are you just constantly dodging where I was looking? Why don't we go the one way that Aqua didn't mention? Let's go north. Ah, I see. Hello there. Whiskash. I've heard fishers have opened up in the ground here and there. They're trouble for everyone. It worries me to no end, thinking that children will fall down into them. Yeah, well, one already did, you stupid fish. Alright. There's nothing really too special up here to begin with, other than Whiskash, but Whiskash has some pretty fun lines. We'll check in with him every now and then. So now, if we go down to here, I want to start by going to Kangaskhan Storage. Hello there, welcome to Kangaskhan Storage! So Kangaskhan Storage, as you may be able to guess, you can store your items here that you do not need. So, so as you can see, I have, we only have a very, this is important because we only have a very limited amount of storage. So I'm just going to choose to store a few items myself here. And then I will, just what I like doing after an adventure, I like to throw all of my items away and then I will select the takeout option and then I will choose the items I want to grab. So maybe I'll take two orange berries with me, I'll take a reviver seed, never know when you might need it. And I'll take a couple, and I'll take a, yeah I'll take a couple apples with me too. That should be good. Alright. Over here is the Gulpin Link Shop. So, welcome, this is the Gulpin Link Shop. So, oh, well, customer, this is your first time linking moves, right? Here you can link moves that Pokemon know. When you link moves, you can use them one after another. So if you link Scratch and Tackle, Scratch and Tackle will come out at the same time. You can attack twice in one turn, so it's super strong. When you use link moves, your belly empties faster, though, so be careful. 
can unlink moves after you've linked them, so don't worry about that. First, choose the Pokémon whose moves you want to link. So, so there's not really too many moves I want to link for Super here, so I think I'm good. But I do think I am going to link up Metal Claw and Scratch for Aqua. Beautiful. Another fun thing about Gulpin is he can help you to relearn moves if you decide not if you decide whether or not to not remember them or like not learn them or forget them, but it was a mistake. Gulpin will help you to relearn any level up move for absolutely free. This is Felicity Bank. You can naturally, of course, store your stuff here in the bank. And for each time that you make a deposit or some kind of transaction with Felicity Bank, you'll get a little present. So today was an apple. Now we're gonna go to the big area. This is the Makuhita Dojo. If you are a new player to this game, I cannot recommend going to this man enough. This, so let's let him explain some stuff. Or, oh, I thought he was going to give a tutorial. Ha! So this is Makuhita Dojo. Only, only through rigorous training can we become stronger. So you can do dojo drills, but you need these things called dojo tickets. And there's different levels, so there's bronze, silver, and gold, as you can see. And these all give a different amount of experience. And as you can see, there's a time limit for how long you can spend in the dungeon. That's what the little time thing there means. But we don't really have any. Another, But the other thing that Makuhita offers is the tricks of the trade. These are basically tutorials to help you basically review the game if you didn't know or if you like took a long break or you skipped through something accidentally. But the best thing about this is these give you some amazing rewards. For example, this one gives you four apples. This one gives you three reviver seeds, which reviver seeds, not tiny reviver seeds. A tiny reviver seed will only restore half your health if you get taken out in the dungeon, I believe. A full Reviver Seed, though, will restore all your health and all your power points for all your moves. These are Escape Orbs for pushing the Pokémon. The Escape Orbs, they're literally just like they sound. They allow you to escape a dungeon. The Gold Ribbon, we'll get to that. Max Elixir acts just like an Ether, except with an Elixir you can regain the power points of all moves at once. Dojo Tickets, these allow you to challenge the Makuhita Dojo. Slumber Wands. The Slumber Wand is a item that you can assign to the Y button, and whenever you press it, it will send out a little like effect and it has a chance to put, the, put any enemy Pokemon that it hits to sleep. Now, I'm gonna actually take some time myself
X. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. That's all. Peace out.